Open ID Connect OIDC is an authentication protocol that builds on top of OAuth 2.0 framework. It enables clients like web application or mobile apps to verify identify end users based on authentication performed by an authorization server as well as to obtain basic profile information about user. OIDC is designed to be simple to integrate and uses standard REST JSON communication methods, making it widely compatible with many types of applications and services. Let's understand what all are the key concepts of OIDC. First is Identity Provider or IDP. The server that performs the authentication and provides identity information Common example can be Google, Microsoft, Okta, and Oda, Auth0. Then second comes Relying Party. <coughs> or RP. The application or service that uses OIDC to authenticate users, it relies on the identity provider to verify users identities then third comes tokens it can be id tokens a json web token or jwt token that contains information about users such as their name email and authentication details it is the key feature that distinguishes OIDC from OAuth 2.0 as OAuth does not support or provide an ID token. Next is access token. Access token that allows access to APIs on behalf of user while OIDC provides ID token access token as part of OAuth 2. Dot framework only. Then third comes refresh token. A token that can be used to obtain new access token without requiring the user to re-authenticate. Now fourth construct is scopes. OIDC uses scopes to specify what information about the user is requested by client. Common scope include open ID required for OIDC, profile, email, and others. Then fifth is endpoints. For endpoints, authorization endpoints, where the user is authenticated and authorization request is initiated. Next comes token endpoints where client exchange an authorization code for an ID token or access token. Next is user info endpoint used to obtain profile information about the authentication user. Now let's understand step by step how OIDC is used. First is user request login user attempts to log in to replying party for example a web application second is rp will redirect to identity provider to idp the relying party redirects user to the identity provider authorization endpoint requesting authentication and id token this redirect includes Parameter specifying required scopes, client ID, redirect URL, and other details. Then comes third, user authenticates. The identity provider presents a login screen 
where user enters credentials upon successful authentication the idp provider generates an id token fourth will be this id token now will be used the identity provider redirects the user back to replying party including authorization code in url now fifth will be token exchange the relying party uses authorization code to request an id token and optionally an access token from token endpoint to the identity provider now sixth step will be id token validation the relying party validates the id token to ensure it is legitimate and unaltered validation involves checking the signature issuer audience and an expiry of token then seventh is user is authenticated upon successful validation replying party considers the user authenticated and may use information in id token such as user profile data as needed now let's understand an example oidc flow with google first what happens is that user clicks on sign in with google The user clicks on a button in your application labeled as sign in with Google. Second step will happen is that it will redirect to Google. The application redirects user to Google OAuth 2.0 authorization endpoint with parameters specifying OIDC request scope, email and other details. Third will be user logins. Google prompts a user to log in in a consent to share their profile information then fourth will be authorization code is written after authenticating google redirects user back to the application with an authorization code now fifth step will be the application exchange the authorization code for an id token at google tokens endpoint it will send a request it will get an id token then application validates id token and uses user identity to grant access to its application now let's understand few pros and cons simplicity and usability easy to integrate with application due to its reliance on rest and json which are widely supported second is interoperability supports a wide range of identity providers including major providers like google microsoft and facebook security user proven technologies like oauth 2.0 and jwt with support for long encryption and signatures fourth will be user information access directory provider user identify information through id tokens reducing the need for additional api call then few cons are complexity for newcomers despite its an use the initial learning curve for understanding tokens scopes and flows can be a bit difficult second can be security risks like all authentication protocol improper implementation can lead to in vulnerability as token interception or reply attacks third can be dependency on third party providers reliance on external priority provider mean your application authentication availability is tied up with their 